I'm going to show you how to, to, among other things, tie a trucker's hitch. The, um, the reason for this is it's a machine. We're going to be using it for different things, or at least a component of this is a machine. So get a piece of wood or something. You, you need something where you have two tie-off points. Here I've got a screw, got another screw. You can get a drill. There's one in the back of the room. Drill a couple of holes in a piece of wood. These I just screwed in by hand. I've got plenty of screws. And then get a piece of string. We're going to be, I'm going to recommend you use this string. I may have enough of this to go around. I'm just using the big stuff for the video. First thing is to make a loop in the end. You don't have to, but just do it this way because it's easy. Now, I'm just tying a knot. Anybody can tie a knot like that. If you can tie a knot, you can make a loop. So a knot, you just do that. For a loop, you double over the end of the rope and you pretend that it's just a string and you tie a knot in it. So there's my doubled over end, there's my free end, and I'm just tying a knot in the doubled over part. So now I've got a loop. <clears throat> I want to hook this to one of my um, tie down points and then I, I want to just tie this rope together really tight. It, it's as if I had some kind of a load I needed to secure like like this. So there's my my tie down point. Here's my free end. What I'm going to do about halfway down is grab this rope and twist it. I don't think it matters which way you twist it. So I grab it with my left hand and twist it like that. The thing that does matter is you, you want to take the free end right here, piece of the free end, and stuff it underneath through that hole. And when you do that, you make, made a pulley. I'll do that again. Twist, good morning. Twist this over. Grab the free end, not that end. If you grab that end, you'll have you'll run into trouble. You can you can try that and see what happens. What what'll happen is this pulley is going to close up on you. So made it like that. I'll show you why I call this a pulley in just a minute. One more time. So twist. Take the the free end, stuff a little bit through there, and then you know it's kind of you can see this knot forming. You may want this to be a little farther up, but you can decide on that later. Then. You're, you're home free now, almost. Wrap that around the other end. Stick your free end through here. And this is, this is where the pulley part comes in. Now I can cinch this up. I can make this really tight, and it gets that twangy sound if you do it really hard. But I might pull my screws out. Now, to secure this, it's got a lot of friction right here, so it's not too hard to tie this off. What I do is I pinch right here. Just pinch pinch and hold and the tension stays in it. Now you could just tie a knot but tie a slip knot. Here's a regular knot. Just take the end and I go Argh. but that's hard to get out. So again here's a regular knot. A slip knot is just like a regular knot but instead of sticking the end through you just stick that through and the end stays out. So it's called a slip knot because just slips right out and then you can take this whole thing off. So the slip knot part again, go around here, go through the pulley, cinch it down, push your fingers up just like that to hold it in place. Go around here, instead of sticking the end of the rope through, stick sort of the, the middle of the rope through and tighten this up and watch out that you don't pull the free end through and then you're, you're done. I think the way I have this set up, it's got a mechanical advantage of, well, it depends on how you look at it, two or three. Whole thing one more time. Actually, no, if you want to see the whole thing one more time, you can just um, reverse it. Oh, well, I'll do, I'll do it all again. This may get really tight. This, this kind of a knot isn't made to come out. But, so double the end. Take the doubled end, tie it in a knot, then you've got a loop. Hook the loop over one of your tie down points. You can, you can go ahead and pull this around, but you don't need to yet. Somewhere close to the tied down end, you do that. Then you go around here, go through the hole or through the pulley. 
This is a very high friction pulley. It's not a very efficient pulley, but it still works nicely. It's kind of nice that it has friction because if it didn't, you wouldn't be able to get it to stay there while you tied it. And then finally for the slip knot to finish it off. And if you want to, advanced move here, you can, I, I, there's probably a name for these. Something tells me they might be some sort of hitches. You can put extra hitches in this. So I'm just doing repeated slip knots with the free end of this. And that gets rid of a lot of slack, but still you can see how they pull out when I do that. And then everything comes loose, except for this. <laughs>